welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I am so excited today to share a Dollar Tree haul with you. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Don't forget to hit that bell button because then you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below because all of those things definitely help my channel and any other YouTubers channels that you know of. It helps us grow. It pushes us out into the YouTube world and we appreciate it. Again, today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, happy Saturday. It is actually Saturday. I am recording this pretty late in the day because usually you get um my video quite a few hours ago but it's actually Saturday and I'm here recording for you guys because I have so many fun things to share um, I have stuff for organizing I have stuff for cleaning I have stuff that were just awesome finds and so I can't wait to share them all with you so let's get started first of all I have this over here this came from the plus section it is a nice big tote um, I don't know if it tells me the size. It's 14 quarts or 13 liters. It has a clip lock, which I love. I picked up three of them and what I plan to use them for is for my vinyl that I use in my Cricut because I want a different storage option for my Cricut vinyl and these just seem like they were like the perfect size for it. So I picked three up. I'm going to try them out for that. I have some other uses and ideas and I've been seeing a lot of these at my stores. So if you have the plus section and you need a 14 quart tote, so about this big, um, you should check out there. There are $3 in the plus section, which I feel like is probably one of the better prices you're going to find for a tote this size. So I have that. Also that I have been seeing others haul and I was able to find and really excited about are these. So these are refrigerator storage bins is what they're labeled at from the essential brands or the storage you sent. Wow, Amber, storage essentials, which is Greenbrier, so a Dollar Tree item. They are 12 inches by six inches by three and a half inches. Um, and they're labeled, like I said, to go into your refrigerator, but you don't need to use them that way. I only picked up two because I don't know exactly, well, when I was picking them up, I was like, one, I only found the two, I think, but then I saw more at a different store and I had still stuck with the two. But then I was thinking in the bathroom. So get one of the, um, like, wire shelves that you can get for like your cabinets and stuff and then you can do two of them stacked under a sink like this and you can see everything that's in there or you can do that same concept and do it in your pantry and then you have the clear um containers holding your stuff at a fraction of the cost of buying the clear stuff anywhere else I recently, semi-recently, redid my pantry and stuff and went buying stuff, and all the clear stuff was so expensive, so I went a lot of whites and some clear, but what what a steal, just what a steal. So, so far I only have two, but I will probably go back for more as I figure out what I want to store in them because it's the year of, like, I need to get organized, I need to purge and get organized. I've been hearing that on a lot of people's channels, and I'm there too. I picked this up for a reason. And now I don't remember what the reason was. I literally had a whole reason in mind when I grabbed this. Sometimes I think jewelry, but I don't really have a lot of jewelry. I wonder if I was thinking my Make It Minis, which I've been trying to get like stuff to stay organized with my Make It Minis. I really wish I could remember why. I just grabbed one. I had a reason for it. But I mean, I'll tell you about it anyway. So this is also the storage essentials. It's eight inches by three by two inches and it has a lid. I think so it's taped on right now I think it just sets on there um, otherwise so let's take the tape off and kind of see how sturdy it is without being taped so it looks like this you get the lid and then I mean oh no it pushes on pretty good I mean I wouldn't call it like airtight or anything but it doesn't just like flop off so a decent lid but man, I wish I could remember what I picked it up for. Do you ever do that? Like where you have like a really good idea and then like you buy it and then you wait just a little too long and then you forget? Because I do. Um, I'll check back on my list because sometimes I put it down on my list of why I want something, which I should do more often because it helps me from forgetting. Um, when I was out at the stores looking at the Christmas, or not the Christmas, the storagey things, I found some more of the Simply Essential turntables, but these ones are smaller than all the other ones I found. I 
have I found the really gigantic ones and then I think the middle ones and I don't think I even knew that they had the smaller ones which are 9.1 inch in diameter and these are like more perfect for inside my cabinets and stuff I'm gonna see if it'll work better than the one I have with my spices because I have one in my spice cabinet and it just barely is too small to hold the items that are on it but I don't know if this one would be slightly too big to put in there too um but I was excited because I have in my kitchen I want to use some and then I have my laundry room that I'd like to use them in and also in my upstairs in my linen closet that I want to completely redo and reorganize um, and maybe even under like a bathroom sink. So, you know, just like a lazy Susan. So the ones I picked up, those are all the areas in the house that I have thoughts of using those in. So hopefully that all works out and I get everything worked on. Speaking of cleaning and organizing, I found a couple books that just like really go in that kind of aspect. So this one is called The Prepared Home, How to Stock, Organize, and Edit Your Home to Thrive in Comfort, Safety, and Style. It was at Target because here's the 30% off coupon or I guess tag because Target's books are always like a percentage off when you get them from there. But the... Um, shelf price or the manufacturer price on this one oh my gosh was $33.99 in Canada and $24.99 in the U.S. so I looked through it a little bit it looked really interesting to me so I'm going to add it to my bookshelf here and then eventually you know here hopefully here soon read it and get through it so here's the table of contents it has things like getting started prepared preparedness that fits your life know your necessities consider comfort and lifestyle and then planning for the possibilities, such as the five most common disaster impacts, discovering your plans, priorities, what's your risk, help to lower your risk, staying at home part one, what's for dinner for the first 72 hours, planning food for 10 days, planning food for one month. So I've never been really big like in the whole prep stuff, but I don't think it could hurt too to like just kind of have some general knowledge. So. That's why I picked that up. And then I found another one that is the Clean Freak Manifesto, The Germaphobe's Guide to Sanitizing Everything in Your Home. I am not a germaphobe. I'm actually pretty far from it. But this also couldn't hurt to kind of read and understand the best place to kill all the germs. So it says, discover the spots where germs lurk so you can target your efforts. Understand the difference between cleaning and disinfecting and the common mistakes that leave us unprotected. Get cleaning secrets for tough places from electronics to the laundry room. I think that that's a good, some good tips. Find shortcuts and natural cleaners that will give you options to meet your needs stay protected on the go and save money. So I don't know, that one sounded like an interesting one too and kind of just perfect timing. Both of these books were um, from the same editor. I don't know, what is it called? Um, publisher is Castle Point Books. They both said that on there. And this was, was $19.99 first. And this one, it has, you know, bright, fun colors and stuff and pictures in there. So I'm going to give that one a look-see through too and see if that helps get me motivated for some germ killing. And then slightly different is I got this one. It's John Wayne, Lessons for My Children, Personal and Practical Advice for Raising Hardworking independent and honorable kids I thought this would be great for gift giving like for like a John Wayne fan I just love like it's like a faux leather um on the cover and it's like not a hard back because it's slightly bendable but it's got like this like faux leather filling um it was in Walmart list price $15.99 Walmart price $12.78 I got it for $1.25 so let's see if back here it says that $12.15.99 no, and then Canada $20.99. That one came off really nice, so I just finished pulling the whole thing off. So um, I got this for gift giving purposes for somebody who is a John Wayne fan. I thought that that would be a neat book. Oh, if you want to see, let's see if there's, so there are like pictures in here. Oh, lots of them. So that's neat. My stepdad is a huge, like he likes like the old black and white movies and stuff. So I don't know, I was gonna skim through it because I know it says for parenting, raising my, my children and he's he's well past that. So um, kind of see if that's something he might be interested in. 
All right, back on to some cleaning. Um, I picked these up. We have me and Lorelai in the house. We both have a lot of hair. That hair likes to get down the drain, and those drains like to work slower. Um, I love that I could get these at the, the Dollar Tree for only $1.25 because I am not trying to pick all the yuckiness off of it um, to try to like reuse it or anything like that. So for $1.25, I do not feel sad about shoving that in the drain, pulling everything out, throwing it in a bag, and throwing it in the trash because ew just ew right so between the two of us it's just necessary every so often to to get the hair out of those drains so I picked those up when I do some like deep cleaning of of the drains um we needed some more toothpaste this is the kind that my husband and I use I feel like I probably got two but there it is so I grab two I always just grab two when it's time because usually we're running out right about the same time frame and this is the crest clean mint you get one no this one is 1.5 times more i think they have another one that says 25 percent more it might be slightly bigger but i could be wrong but this is what we use we needed a restock so i grabbed those to put into our toothpaste area i picked up a box of tissues not sure why Again, I feel like they pick stuff up for a reason, and my reasons are just, they're gone. I just went shopping the other day. Um, I do grab these, though. I put them in the cars, and that's probably the reason why it was probably to stick into a car, because we keep running out of tissues in the car, and that's where I see, I don't think that's where the kids always get a runny nose, but it's where you hear the kids runny nose, like, the worst, because they sit there, and they sniffle, and they sniffle, and they sniffle, and you're like, get a tissue, because you're driving me insane. All right, I am so excited. I found some name brand finds. So let me show you those. First of all, I found some dog toys. So these ones are probably too big for my dog, but I was excited. So this is Spider Brand Dog Tennis Balls with non-abrasive felt. I have no idea where or why. So Spider Brand I associate with, um, I want the other ones, with um, like snowboarding gear because I use and like ski gear. Because back when I used to snowboard many, many years ago, I recall the Spider brand from that. So I don't know what else the Spider brand is, but these are size medium. You get three. They are two and a half inches in diameter. Uh, they're not recommended for heavy chewers because no toy is indestructible. Supervise your pet when using. Discontinue if the toy is damaged. Um, but they are made with non-abrasive felt, so they're gentle on the dog's teeth and gums when they catch them perfect for interactive games like fetch to keep dogs active and entertained so again these like my dogs wouldn't be able to pick these up so i'll probably see or think of um, someone's dog i can gift them to or donate them somewhere that that would be useful but then the ones that fell are like my dog's size so these ones are by brilliance making your pet happier they're size small dog tennis balls for toss and fetch, dental health, bounce well, and non-toxic. Um, these ones are distributed by TZ UNI Innovations in New York, um, but made in China. So it says, give your furry friend the brilliance of dog tennis balls for your next tournament-worthy game of toss and catch. Our premium quality two-inch diameter tennis balls for small dogs are felted like regular tennis balls, but with a non-abrasive material that is gentle on the dog's teeth. Get your pup chasing the brilliance tennis ball for daily play and exercise. Gertrude has been wanting to chew up my stuff. Um, my Christmas village, which is about to come down, the bottom shelf, she can reach it. And so she likes to try to get my stuff off of it and chew it up. So I was thinking maybe I could try this for her. And Ethel likes to play fetch, but only with like a little rope toy that she has. So maybe, maybe she would like this. So I'm going to try these out with them. I'll probably just pull one out, see if it is a hit at all and then if not just like gift the other ones to another pup that might be into them so super excited though when you find like the name brand things like that unfortunately my dogs aren't super like into dog toys so whenever I see the really cute stuff I don't like I don't go full-fledged into it because they're not like super into it I found some fun socks I do not always find the fun socks at my stores um it's like hit or miss if I get them because I see some of them like the Space Jam socks that have been going around everywhere. Never once have I seen them. The Mean Girl socks never came my way. I would have definitely scooped those up. 
And then there was another batch that kind of came around the same time as Mean Girls. Never saw those either. But what I did find was some Dracula socks. So I'm going to send these to my subby friend. Um, I sent her a picture while I was shopping because she said she loves socks. And she was like, heck yeah, on the Dracula socks. So you get two pairs in here. It says Universal Monsters. The picture is Frankenstein and the Bride of Frankenstein. But the sock is Dracula. And then this other pair has something on it but I cannot I don't know what that is if you do oh is it Dracula biting a neck okay yeah so it's Dracula he's biting a girl's neck and there's um bats all around aha figured it out so got that pair to gift away and then I found these I didn't know if I was going to gift these to my boys so I got two I got one to gift to Jen and then not to be confused with my best friend Jen who's my Taylor Swifty friend I know a lot of Jens um but these ones are astronaut socks so like I said I just got grabbed two of these they had a bunch and um I don't know if both my boys would like them or not so these are designed and distributed by Textis USA Inc but made in China um it says socks by Crazy Boxer shoe size 6 to 13 sock size 10 to 13 um but there is like, there's three pairs in here. Yep, three pack. So this one has like a spaceman on it, like an astronaut. The blue pair in the middle looks like it says NASA right here with that symbol. And then, no, that's the black pair. And then the blue pair in the middle like are just, maybe they're just blue with red on them. So and they like you know look like taller socks so hadn't seen those before was really really excited to find them so that's those um i did pick up because i was sad because i thought i had picked up the coconut hydrate lotion but it was the cocoa butter um so when i saw it in coconut i grabbed one because this is my favorite i love it my husband doesn't he says it smells too strong and too coconutty for him but I love it because I love the smell of coconut and this lotion I feel like is great. You don't get much for $1.25, but it's perfect for tossing in my purse and having on the go. And then I picked this up because it's too little too late. When I was doing my best friend's Taylor Swift birthday party, I wanted a Hot Wheels for the getaway car. And in the music video, it was, um, I had to ask my husband what it was, but it was like this really, really expensive Jaguar. But it was like a black convertible I think it was convertible car and this has like totally the vibe to it but this one is a 1949 Curtis sports car which is just really still cool looking so I scooped it up because I thought it was really fun and why the heck not all right I have some more stuff in a paper bag so in Colorado right now we no longer get plastic bags we still pay 10 cents a bag if you get a bag but they have to be paper bags so if you haven't seen a Dollar Tree paper bag, we have them now here in Colorado. Sorry for all of the noises. So I picked up some paper plates because we just need some more paper plates. But they had some really fun ones. So I just grabbed them. Like we don't care. We're just eating food off of them. So they are the 10 inch diameter plates. So just like the other ones that you get at Dollar Tree. But these are the Serve brand. And these have these cute little dinosaurs around the rims. Oh my gosh, how cute are those? And they say they are served for kids. And then this batch are sharks. Same, you get 10 of them, they're 10 inch diameter, and they have the sharks around the edge. Oh my gosh, how cute are both of these? I'm thinking there was one other print, but I can't remember. I just can't remember. But I grabbed those because we just need some more paper plates in the pantry. And why the heck not? If I'm gonna get 10 plain, um, white ones why not get 10 cute like like shark ones and stuff and then for my youth group we use paper plates so um, I grabbed these ones to have um, just to take because so we started meeting at a different location um, and so I'm going to put together like a little kit of stuff um, for where we're going to meet so that we can take our stuff in and take it back out whenever we need to so like I'm doing things like paper goods um, any like cleaning things we need, stuff like that. So I grabbed some plates to toss into it as well as some garbage bags. These ones you get 28 of them. They're eight gallon bags. They're scented by like lemon. Um, we don't need anything big. I actually could have got even the smaller size, but I just kind of grabbed, I didn't even pay attention to the different sizes. 
So it looks like you get like the little teeny waist basket size and then I got the one size bigger than that. So it's the medium that says it's for eight gallons. These aren't great. Like I wouldn't like keep them in my trash cans to hold a lot of trash, but for we just like we'll have paper plates, cups, some napkins and stuff. We're going to toss them in the bag and then toss them in the trash to get the trash out every time we're done there. I think these will be perfect. So I grabbed those. All right, that I'm adding this in so it's, you're going to see a little bit of a um edit on there. I forgot to haul these and the the child has been wanting to taste them, so I think I'm also going to try to do a little add in on him doing a taste test because I'm not eating these. So these are the faritas. Um, I don't know. They look to me just like a talky dupe. Um, and I picked up the habanero and lime flavored as well as the spicy nacho flavored. He says he likes Takis. We have the blue Takis sitting in the pantry that he hasn't touched, but he says he likes Takis. So maybe he'll like these too. And if they're like a dupe and if he thinks they're good for $1.25, I love picking up snacks at a discounted price. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pop this in here and then if he does the taste test on camera for me, which he's checking his hair, so I think he's going to, um, I'm going to also add that in to see how they taste. So stick around for that. All right, I'm back with Braxton. It's been a minute since he's been here, so he probably looks all grown, but he is going to try these Ferreras. I don't know if I say that right, but these Ferreras talky like chips. So he is going to give us his reaction because he supposedly likes the Takis. And so we're going to let him let you know what he thinks. Oh, they're littler. Oh, these ones don't actually smell that bad. So these look like this when you open them. And you're going to try these first. That, that one's a weird mouth warm one. So yeah, this one apparently got a mouth warm form done. Maybe I'll taste this one with you, but those other ones look terrible. So we're going to let him tell us because he knows talkies better than I do. So go ahead. And it hits the spicy part. They're kind of like a crunch, like a rolled up Dorito a little bit. No, it's crunchy. But not quite as crunchy. A little bit spicy. That spicy kicks in. It says the spicy from that, at least by the picture, is jalapeno. Because there's a picture of a jalapeno on that one. Oh, but it has a little bit of a kick. <coughs> uh-huh. And then next we have habanero and lime. I have a lot of seasoning. These ones have like a lot, lot more seasoning in them. But it doesn't look like you can tell. If you look on the bag, they look like you more. I don't know if you can see. Oh, grab one. You're going to taste it. <laughs> I don't know if I want to try this one. Oh, smells spicy. Uh-huh. Go for it. Let me see your face first. No, but I don't like, like tahin. He's like tahin. I don't like tahin. <laughs> I guess there's a decent lime flavor in it. All right, so what is your overall thoughts on these? They're pretty good. Also, the the spicy does hit after a minute. Like it hits you. Well, on the on the side of the bag, you can actually so you can see them all in there. So the these are a product of, of Mexico. See the uh -huh. stuff on the side. All right, the rate this one the spicy nacho out of 10. One being not good, 10 being delicious. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. Put up on me. Um, I think I'd give it a 8. Yeah, that one wasn't too bad. I think that one's pretty tasty. What would you say about the habanero online? Probably a 7. 7. So there you go. If you like Takis, would you say, like, if you're a Taki fan, that you should try these out if you haven't already? Yes. All right. Well, thank you for doing a taste test with me. We'll see you next time. This will be added in, so you're going to still see me after this doing the haul. So, okay, so <laughs> we're going to do the football stuff. I was debating because I don't know if I'm going to go back for more, but um, I'm going to show you what I picked up. So I found, and I was super excited to find, the football, like for the Super Bowl stuff, because I'm putting together a football, it's Broncos mostly, but like I'm adding in football stuff gift basket that I'm donating to my best friend's daughter for a raffle drawing that she's doing. And so when I found these, I was so excited. So let me show you all the bits and pieces I picked up. 
there was more but this is just what I grabbed at the time so let me do them like one by one so these are like the picks and so these you can do like on top of cupcakes if you do like a charcuterie board if you just do snacks like pigs in a blanket or like little finger sandwiches you can stick these on top of basically anything um and so I got the ones that are the little footballs as well as the little like flags and the flags are double-sided so that one shows like the yards that are on the field and then the other side say game on which super oh, game day they say game day how cute are those and the footballs are the same on both sides so if you're putting together a cute little like spread of food this would be so cute then I got the centerpiece so it's the tissue centerpiece that is a football I love this and it says game time at the bottom so we have game day game time I'm just seeing if they all like are kind of slightly different but they're all like the same set um and super easy I'm sure to put together because they give you like the little paper clips that's how you open up the football you just kind of clip on the top and the bottom that's how I always do like the tissue things at Dollar Tree and then just slide the base together and it's four pieces it looks like and you have a football centerpiece so cute then I picked up they had several different garlands or banners and I just picked this one up it says touchdown and it has like the field and then the two footballs on either side they had one that was I think plastic and like the square not square triangle like flag shapes um and then I think there was one other one too but I just grabbed this one that says touchdown on it because I thought that was really really cute then the, the things that I thought were my most exciting finds out of everything that they had for the football stuff was this one. I thought this was such an exciting find. It's a table runner and it's like a field. So they have like the yardage. It says touchdown on the side. I assume on both sides, but they don't show you. Um, and it's 60 inches long. So depending on the length of your table, it's going to be 60 inches across. How freaking cute is this? Like so, so cute. So it's like that kind of like what they make like some of the bags out of type material which is still it's just perfect for like a football party still definitely reusable like if you do like a lot of football get togethers through the season you store it away you pull it out next football season and then the last thing for this haul and for the football stuff that I also thought were some of the most exciting things is these cute little can coolers or little cozies so they have the ref shirt that you can like put on your soda pop and then they have the football cozy how cute are these like they're just so cute they're so 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 cute so I was excited I was a little overwhelmed when I was looking at the whole display trying to figure out what to grab because I wasn't I wasn't prepared to find it I didn't know if I was going to so those are the things I found I may or may not pick up more because I just think they're really cute I don't have football parties so it's not something I do but it would be really fun to put together a football party for my other channel um, speaking of my other channel, um, if you haven't already, if you want to head over to Celebrating with Amber, I put up my Taylor Swift party that I put together for my best friend. It was kind of like a decorate with me, like I showed kind of the, the hotel room that I rented, gave a tour, um, watched, let you hang out with me while I decorated, and then did like a walkthrough of it being all decorated. Um, my best friend enjoyed it greatly, but you should head over there if you haven't gone to go see it yet, and then check out my other videos. I have like my Christmas decor walkthrough, I have a little New Year's Eve vlog that was from last year, not this year, but still fun, and just other parties and stuff. Um, coming up, I plan to, I haven't done my vision board yet, so I was going to do like a video on vision board with me, um, and decorate for Valentine's Day with me, and stuff like that. So it's like usually like the holidays when I'm decorating and birthday parties and stuff like that so you should come over to celebrating with Amber and hang out with me over there too because it's more vlog style and kind of what I do with the stuff after I buy it so you should hang out with me there um yeah I hope you guys are staying warm I don't know what area you're in but I know that the cold fronts are coming through everywhere in Colorado today it has been like a high of three or something like that and it was in the negatives we went to the stock show last night and um, leaving it was in the negatives and snowing when we left the horse show that we went to which was really fun so like totally I mean I guess worth it I wasn't I went from the outside to the shuttle to the car so it was like minimal outside time but I hope you're staying warm wherever you are. Let me know down below if it's like freezing where you are. Um, let me know if you stay till the end by telling me what your weather is like right now. So I can either be jealous or um, I can empathize with you. 
Um, hopefully I'm being jealous because I would rather be somewhere nice and warm. All right, guys, that's what I have for you today. Come back on Tuesday where I will have another Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to be putting together some gift baskets. So I'm going to share a whole haul of the stuff that I found for that. Um, and yeah, so come back on Tuesday and I will see you then. Have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, bell button, comment, and like button. All right, guys, bye. See you next time.